After spending more time at the bank with our anglers and consultants, it's become quite obvious to us here at Newfish that the modern riggers and the demands of fishing, especially commercial fishing, i.e. bigger fish, bigger weights, people trying to break records, that's putting more pressure and demand on your fishing tackle. And one of the key items that people think is a weakness in their armoury is pole floats. So we've been off to the drawing board, we've had a good look, and we've brought you a perfect range. One of the most fundamental components of a floor is the body and it comes down to material basically. So historically, balsa was the material, everybody used balsa for years and years and years. But as I said, the rigours and the demands of commercial fishing these days means that I'm afraid it just didn't stand up to the test. So the new material, the kiddie on the market, is Roacel. This is obviously a man-made material, it's a foam basically, really, really durable, really strong really really hard i'm just going to show you the that is impossible to squash it for its form therefore it's consistent which means each body can be made to precise measurements and also it means it can carry the same shot so you get super consistency with every float that you pick up it will take exactly the same shot in which is really important when you're looking to duplicate rigs so you know that you pick the next one up and it's identical to the last Of course, the other components that make up a float are the stem. We've got two materials in this range. One is nickel titanium wire, which is really, really high quality material. The most important thing is it's very, very flexible. It will give. So when you are bagging and you're netting fish, you don't want to be thinking about whether your float's tangled up in your net. It'll give. It allows movement. Fiberglass gives that sort of strength and durability also a very strong material, very flexible. I mean, rods were made from it, so you can tell how good it is. We've got that in a 0.7 in a white material. Moving through the body, we've got these power eyes. Now, these are fantastic. Stainless steel wire, but they are designed to go around the stem. You can probably see that on this particular cutaway. So this is a float that's cut in half. And you'll see that it's a nice, long stainless steel eye that's almost like an umbrella shape. So that goes down the back of the stem around the stem and it's on the opposite side so when you've got line pull it's pulling against the stem of the float not against the raw cell body material so it's impossible for that eye to come out body stems and eyes are super important but what about the business end the tip the bit that you see the most we've used hollow tips in various diameters in this range we've got from 1.5 mil right the way up to 4 mil in various patterns. The painter with really, really high vis paint, we've gone for the obvious blaze orange and the bright yellow. So no matter how tricky and difficult the light gets, with these high vis tips, you'll always be able to pick out and hit those difficult bites. Components are very important in the construction of floats, but not as important as the actual assembly. So when you're putting fiberglass stems through the center of these bodies, right the way through into these tips, you need to use the right adhesives and the care and attention that's taken when you're assembling these floats to make sure that the eye runs directly down the stem, that power eye then gives that strength. And then this, this particular adhesive, that has got a slight expansion on it. So that means that where the tip goes over the top, the top of the stem, it creates a secure bond. So that then creates what we know is an absolute bomb-proof range of floats. So the range itself consists of six floats. These six floats cover most of the eventualities that you'll come across this season. The Cipri float is an elongated body. Now this is what I call a very general pattern. It's tried and tested. And the reason why it works so well is that it can be used not only for deck fishing, because it's got a nice stable stem, but it, you can actually use it to fall through the water. The float comes in four by 10, four by 12s, 
414s, 416s and 418s. So if you wanted to fish through the water, the stability of the nickel titanium stem, that'll just allow the float to cock and you can just fish through the water on the drop style and then it's stable once it's reached the bottom. A 1.75 millimeter tip means that it's very, very visible, but it's buoyant enough to fish on the deck if you're getting little indications, you can't fish in, you're getting liners, little dinks and taps, it won't just disappear quite easily, but it's fine enough. I've been using this for silverfish fishing. It'll do everything you need it to do. You can fish with maggots, corn, meat, pellets, any bait you want. As with all the floats in this range, the Cypri is also in line. So there's a tube that runs right from underneath the eye, right through the body. So the line will pass through the eye and through the body. This does two things. Basically, it stops the line from digging into the body. So if you've got a round bodied float like you have on the bulk float, it won't dig in when you're pulling really, really tight with fish or when you're sliding your line, you float up and down the line, it doesn't cut into there. And it also keeps it nice and tight, not only around the eye, but where the silicon, top silicon rubber is there. So that makes it super, super strong. A proper, versatile, all-round floor. Very occasionally when you're doing product development, does a product grab you by the scruff of the neck and say, I can't wait to use that. And the big head is exactly that with me. We designed this float for shallow carp fishing. So whether that's mugging, slapping your rig, flicking to islands, all that kind of business, the big head is exactly the float for that. Featuring an unbelievably vibrant tip, four mil hollow. So whether you're using eight mil pellets, 11 mil pellets, big cubes of meat, corn, anything like that, big baits, this float will support it. Fishing those summer commercials and the carp are cruising about, oftentimes you just need something that you can see. And the big head is exactly that. It's got a fiberglass stem, so it cocks immediately. When you fish it with a little bulk, you slap it over and it just sits there immediately like that, exactly what you're looking for. It doesn't have a side eye, it's just got an inline body making it super strong and durable, which is exactly what you need when you're battling those hard fighting carp, which let's be honest, going to double figures now, that float is exactly what you need. It's available in three sizes, 4x10, 4x12 and 4x14. So whether you're flicking out past the pole tip with a long line, or whether you're just using a short line and, and slapping it over with a 4x10, the three sizes should cover your fishing where this big head suits. It's a beautiful little float. I can't wait to get this on the winds. I can't wait for the sun to come out, warm the water up so we can start doing a bit of mugging and shallow fishing. And these will be the first floats out of the box. So if you're looking for an all round summer commercial float, the Fury is the pattern I'd look for. This is a two and a half mil tip with a glass stem, lying through the body with a power eye. This is a brilliant float for either down your edges or short pole, or depending on the depths of water you're fishing in, but great for them big baits, bunches of maggots, worms, corn, meat, or even eight mil pellets. Just a float where you can see, when this goes under, it's gonna be a carp, it's gonna be on. The bulk. So this is, as the name suggests, fishing a bulk on the deck. It's got a nice long nickel titanium stem, which gives stability when you are fishing, you want a static bait on the bottom. Nice round body so that the bulk will settle really quickly and your droppers will then drop onto you. So the neck end and onto this 1.5 millimeter tip, which is sensitive enough if you're fishing for silvers, skimmers, but thick enough to hold up a sizable bait and it's thin enough so if you do get a lift bite off a skimmer or things like that, it'll pop up and you'll be able to strike. Line through body, which is ideal for this kind of shape so you don't get any line damage to it. It comes in 0 0.4, 0 0.5, 0 0.6, three quarters of a gram and a gram, which will cover all situations from fishing on the near side shelf right through to open water when you've got some tow and you want to nail that bait. In the summer months, targeting the shallow water is incredibly important, whether that's in the margins, tight against islands, or even up in the water when you're shallow fishing. The fish want to be in that top bit of the water where there's more oxygen and the fish are happy being there because the water's warmer. So we designed the Tinks 
for those exact situations, whether you're fishing shallow for F1s, whether you're fishing in the margin or fishing up against islands, the Tinks is the float that will do the job nicely. Available in 4x8, right up to 4x14, four, four sizes that cover what we thought this float should do. The 4x8 and the 4x10 are perfect for your shallow work, whether it's F1s with smaller pellets, casters, maggots, but we've also got the 4x12 and 4x14 for when you're fishing in the margins and they're up against the islands and you need that stability. And having a float that takes plenty of shot is important allows you to set those little traps in the margins or up against the islands without the hook bait and the rig being disturbed too much. The best thing about these is they're all in proportion. The 4B8 one is tiny, but as you can see, the bristle and the stem matches up perfectly with that body down diamond shaped body. But the 4B14 isn't much longer. So even if you're fishing in 10 inches of water, eight inches of water, the float isn't gonna look out of place. But that doesn't mean it's all about shallow, shallow water. If you're still fishing three foot, the 4B14 will be absolutely perfect for that because of the glass stem keeping it nice and stable. So if you're looking for shallow water flow, the Tinks is definitely worth checking out. There can be no doubt about it, the jigger is one of the most effective ways to fish in the summer months. When it comes to shallow fishing, this little beauty is very hard to beat and we had to do a super simple little design that is very effective on those commercial fisheries. The new fish jigger comes in just one size, a 4 by 14 which we felt was a good all-round size, whether you're fishing on slightly deeper venues or even super shallow, on shallower commercials, the 4 by 14 size is ideal. It's got just the right size bore through the central tube, to allow your rig to pass easily through it when you're jigging up and down but importantly it's got a loading at the base this means that every time you slap it over it cocks immediately and just sits there nice and stable when you're lowering the rig through it's a simple float but the jigger is so effective that we just had to have one in the range and this little beauty ticks all the boxes when it comes to jigger fishing So if you're looking for performance, strength and durability, look no further than this brand new range. 